your marriage, in your career, in your health, in your academics, in your business, in your finances, in your ministry, as you echo three louder amen to confirm your faith in Jesus. I command the power behind that shame and the shame to expire. Thank you, Father. This is the second prayer. Please pray it as if your life depends on it. Are you ready? Say anything in my foundation making life hard for me. Is that the loudest you can shout? You are a liar. Da! Anything in my foundation that is making life hard for me. Da 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 you must not live a hard life. Oh, God, God has not created you to live a hard life. You have a unique life to live. You have a destiny to fulfill. Open your mouth and deal with that spirit that has sentenced you to a hard life. Deal with that power. Deal with that power. Deal with that power. Yes, anything in my foundation that is making me to live a hard life. Anything in my foundation making life hard for me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Father. That person whose marriage is almost breaking. The Lord said, I should confirm to you now that the marital situation has been settled. This is the last prayer. Please pray it truly as if you are praying the last prayer. Are we ready now? Please, I will also pray it. And I want you also to pray it. The prayer is important for all of us. You will say this loud and clear. Say, powers that says my breakthrough is a do or die affair. Can you shout it? Let me hear you. You are a liar. Da! Give me the power that says your breakthrough, my breakthrough is a do or die affair. Da! 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 Command them to die. 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 I must break through. You must break through. I must break through. You must break through. I must break through. You must break through. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Father, Baba, I declare enough is enough. Over any power. Principalities. Rulers of this wicked world. 
and spiritual wickedness in high places. That has vowed that my breakthrough and your breakthrough is a do or die affair. With your loudest amen. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. That desired breakthrough is released now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we go into your word, go with us. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, precious, mighty name, we have prayed. Can we all have our seats? Praise the Lord. Once again, God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate God for bringing me here. And I also want to thank the servant of the Most High. The set man that God has placed over this region. My wonderful friend and brother. I do not take this privilege for granted. I pray for him that the hand of the Lord will be mighty upon him in Jesus' name. I also want to celebrate God in the life of his wife. And I pray for her that what God has started in our life, the Lord will perfect and complete it in Jesus' name. Not only that, I want to thank God for the assembly pastor, for the administrator. I want to thank God for the assembly pastor. I'm also appreciating God over the life of the administrator. All the pastors, ministers, workers, and members of this great region. You are doing very well. The project at the back there is a massive project. Can you please celebrate yourself for doing a wonderful work? If someone is not sent to embark on this kind of project, a difficult task. I appreciate you for supporting my friend and my brother. And every man and woman who has contributed so far to that building project. Massively, the Lord will bless you back in Jesus' name. Briefly, this morning before we close, we are looking at a short message titled this good door must be opened. I'm talking to myself. And I want you to talk to yourself too. This good door must be opened. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. Are we all there? 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me. And there are many adversaries. Apostle Paul got to a level where he saw an open door. At least he was happy that this was an open door. For him to assess the door. 
he discovered there are adversaries he wanted to make use of the door to enter but the enemies at the edge of that door says no you cannot go I have come to pray for someone here this morning every enemy at your open door before you leave here this morning they shall die in the name of Jesus have your seat turn again to the book of Psalm 27 24 verse 7 and 9 I read Psalm 24, verse 7, verse 7 and 9. Lift up your head, O ye gates. And be lifted up, ye everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Look at verse 9. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Praise the Lord. In this verse, we saw a door. And we saw that a command was made as it is a second that all you get lift up oh yeah i it's okay does any level be open oh yeah she and until they were open at the battle to she the king of glory could not come in about go lay one day for your glory to speak for a good and that's if all the door of your life must be open in the quiet record of she beloved only fair before we close this morning, what is a door? Let me give us two definitions. Number one, doors are platform of entry into a place. Doors are platform of entry into a place. Number two, because of our time. What can you refer to as a door? Killer le Doors are also platform of exit from a place to another. Without a door, you cannot access a house. Without a door, you cannot access your office. Without a door, you cannot have access your school. So doors spiritually are important to every life. Before we go and pray this morning, let's look at golden statement about doors. Number one, human being could be a door for you to enter a place. Human being a dining could be a door for you to enter a place. Only day the profound Latin world become beloved. Only fair if I do not know the pastor here. Tim Bambo, you should go to me by the door of this church won't be open unto me. So it was the door that gave me entrance to this place. When you see a man praying for favor, when you see a woman praying for favor. Until you are connected to people, you cannot be favored. So, human being could be a door for you to enter a certain place. And also, human being could be a door for you to exit a certain place. There are people who were sacked or terminated in their places of work. As a result of a door, a personality in that place, I have come to pray for you. Any power that wants to stand as a door for you to lose your joy, that power shall die in the name of Jesus. Number two, beloved, every door is not your door. As you are walking along the road now, you see doors to offices and shops. You also see doors to every home. The fact that they are open does not mean they are your door. 
which means every man and woman created by God that is a door God has created for you to access. When you miss that door, beloved, life could be more miserable. I pray for someone here this morning. Any power anywhere that is hindering you from accessing your door, they shall die in the name of Jesus. Number three, every closed door is not a closed door. The fact that it is locked does not mean you can open it. Number four, for every man, that is an open door. But you are not likely to see it as an open door. A challenge, an affliction, a battle could be a door to your glory. The situation of your own unemployment now could be the door for you to become an employer of labor. So for every man, there is an open door. But you are not likely to see it as an open door. Number five. For every good door, there is an adversary to contend with. There is an adversary to contend with. Failure to contend with that adversary will lead you into stagnation. Number six. There is a door that was never opened to your generation. You must know that very well. There is a door that was never opened to your generation. This door was not open to your great grandfather. This door was not open to your grandfather. Perhaps this door was not open to your father. But this morning I pray for you here. Upon the highly exalted altar of God this morning. Doors that were not open to your forefathers. If your amen could confirm your faith in Jesus. This morning, I command them to open unto you. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. No matter how big a door is. What we use to open it is a small key. No wonder the Bible says, I have given unto David the key to open and no one close, and the key to close and no one shut. So you need a key to access every door. And Jesus is the master key, beloved. He, he can open every door. Number eight, every family have a door. They have a door, every family. But the door may not be open to every child in that family. From the firstborn to the lastborn, beloved, just one person will assess it. We have a case study in the Bible, the family of Jesse, who had eight children. Eliab was the firstborn. The Lord said to the prophet, I have rejected him. Abinadab was rejected. Shama was, was rejected. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. And Samuel said, Are these all your children? He said, No. There remain one in the bush. He said, Go and fetch him. We will not sit until he comes. And immediately appeared. The Bible said to the prophet, This is he. Anoint him. I am praying for someone here. Among your father's children. Among your mother's children. You are the key of your family. I say you are the key of your family. Number nine. The desire of many human beings are locked behind specific doors. What many men and women are looking for, they are the back of the door you are assessing. So immediately the door is open. 
access come to whatsoever you desire. Number 10. Am I right? Number 10. Some doors have been specifically constructed to hinder many people. The enemy has specifically packaged them. I'm praying for you. Any door that has been specifically packaged to stop you this morning shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Beloved, many human beings they are responsible for the doors that are locked against them. That a door was closed against them was because of what they have done. Do you need a marital breakthrough? There is a door that must be opened. Do you need a financial breakthrough? There is a door that must be opened. Do you need mysterious success? There is a door that must be opened. Are you interested in healing and deliverance? There is a door that must be open. Is it academic excellence that you are looking for? There is a door that must be open. Is it a career breakthrough? There is a door that must be open. Your home may be a business breakthrough that you have been praying for. There is a door that must be open. Until the door is open, there is no access. Until the door is open, there is no entrance. Until the door is open, you cannot come in. Until the door is open, there is no manifestation. The door must be open for you to access. And I've been sent by the Lord to you this morning that this month of July, your door shall be open in the name of Jesus. What do you need to do if your door must be open? If this good door must be open, number one, you must be born again. Number two, you must be word addicted. Number three, you must have Holy Ghost on your inside. Number four, you must demand for your door to be open. Designing a door to be open will not open it. Life will not give you what you desire. Life will give you what you demand. Until you demand that door will not be open. And number five, always ask for God's mercy. Can we please bow down our heads? Are you here in this service this morning? You are not born again. The prayer we are about to pray now can't work for you. And until you identify with Christ, he won't open that door. The Bible says, lift up your head, oh you get. And be lifted up, ye everlasting door. Beloved, you must know him. Wherever you are seated, wherever you are connected, begin to talk to the Lord now. If you want to give your life to Christ, kindly raise up your hand so that I can pray with you before we go. Raise up your hand wherever you are. Others, let's talk to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's rise to our feet. In this few minutes that we have, we are going to pray some prayers about doors. Close your eyes. Shout the first prayer loud and clear. Say, any good door that my foundation has closed against me Open by fire in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open. Any good door that my foundation has closed against me, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this number two. Say, good doors that were closed against my generation by the blood of Jesus. Open unto me in the name of Jesus. Good doors that were close to my generation by the blood of Jesus. Open unto me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, I saw a door opened. I said, I saw a door opened. Shout this number three. Say, curses of my father's house. Leave me alone. Pray. Curses of my father's house. Leave me alone. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, dream of darkness that has closed my door. Da! In the name of Jesus, dream of darkness that has closed my door. Die, 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 die. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say this one. If it is marital door you desire, mention it. If it is financial door, mention it. Any type of door, just mention it. Say, marital door. Close against me. Open by fire. Financial door. Ministerial door. Door of good health. Close against me. Open. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. Please listen to this. Two words from the Lord before we close. The Lord said, The Abalist charm done against someone as expired this morning. Hello? Listen to the second one. The Lord said in your workplace, you are surrounded with hostility. They hated you with passion. The Lord said on your arrival here tomorrow morning, there is a rearrangement waiting for you. Lift up your two hands and raise it above your head. Father, in the name of Jesus. The Bible the Lord. I hear it Father, I decree and I declare this morning. By the power in your word. Let every door that has been closed against you. Open by fire. Marital door. Open by fire. Financial door open by fire. Business door open by fire. Career door open by fire. I speak as God's servant. Every door closed against your family. They are open unto you now. In the name of Jesus. You are the David of your family. Receive the key of your family. 
in the name of Jesus every enemy of your open door I command them to die in the name of Jesus in this month of perfection your door is open 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 every call you will receive after this service every sms you will receive after this service shall open your door in the name of jesus this day this week and this month is your month of open door thank you father jesus mighty name we have prayed let's bring out our tithe and our offering it is a very good thing to bless God with our tithe. Make sure that what you are giving God is the best that you have. The best in your hand. Do you always call the tithe out? Do you call them out? Okay, let's lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I appreciate you for every title and every giver of offering this morning. As they give this to you, Father, let this good door be open in Jesus' name. I speak as your servant and as your oracle. This tithe will open your door. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we have prayed. As the offering bags will be going round.